You there? Over here! Yes, I am talking to you! No, over here! What are you doing? I am right here! Wait, you are just looking at me! Ah, yes! Hello, it is I, the Snowdrift, eh? It is good to see you. Right now, you might be asking yourself, why is a big pile of snow talking in a bad French accent? Well, shouldn't you be asking yourself, why is a snow drift talking in the first place? Well, my friend, let me tell you, everything in nature can talk. But you humans never take the time to listen, eh? Take the trees, for instance. Look over there. It is my little evergreen friend, Shorty. What's wrong, Shorty? You don't look so good. I have a cold. <laughs> Gesundheit, my little friend. And over to my right is Charlie. Hoot. Charlie doesn't say much. Hello, Charlie. How are you doing? Hoot. Hey, Charlie. What does the owl say? Hoot. That is right. He says hoot. And what does it feel like in the summertime? Hoot. That is right. It is very hot. I'm just kidding, I kid, I'm a kidder. And if you look behind me, you will find Brooke. Hello, Brooke, how are you today? Good, and babbling as always I see. Don't forget about me, Pierre. Ah, yes, how could I forget? Drum roll, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce my good friend and fellow snowdrift, Janine. Thanks, Pierre. Janine, I was just explaining to our friends here that, uh... Wait, do you hear something? Ah, look over there. It is a squirrel. nuts buried beneath the snow where are those nuts that i buried so long ago i need those nuts now that winter is here cause i buried walnuts and i buried peanuts too i buried sunflower seeds by the dozen and maybe an acorn or two. I should have warned you. These animals are a very musical bunch. They are forever singing. I have no idea why. Well, look over there. I believe it is the young dog.
look over there. Hello, Muskrat. How are you doing today? Well, my pond is nearly frozen. So please don't consider me rude. But when I finish grooming, I really must continue searching for my food. Winter. Where are those nuts? Buried in the, the snow. Where are those nuts that are buried so long, long ago? Winter. I need those nuts. Now the winter the snow is here. Not bad, eh? Oh, uh, I love to sing. You don't have to tell me, Janine. You sing more than the animals do. But we sure do have some pretty interesting friends here in the forest, eh? Like that guy over there. What is he doing? He does this every day. Hey, look over there. It's the owl. See if you can get him to do that trick with his neck. Ah, oh, yes. He hates it when I do this. Hey, Mr. Owl! Look out behind you! Whoa? <laughs> I never get tired of that. That is funny every time. Yes, I know. Oh, my. What can be avoided? That Who's is that one hunk of a pile of snow. Yep, Who is that? Forward. When did he blow in? Et tu, Brute. I am... Undone? Oh! Ah, uh, I think his name is Augustus. He showed up after the blizzard last week. And ever since, he has been reciting Pierre. Shakespeare. Hey, Pierre. Do you remember when we had another stranger visit our woods? Ah, uh, yes. It seems like it was just yesterday. It was yesterday. Ah. Can I tell the story? What? Who said that? Where are you? Pierre, look down by the river. It's a little oak leaf frozen on the riverbank. Ah, yes. Hello there, little oak leaf. Please, let me tell the story. Go ahead, my little oak leaf friend. Well, it all began after the blizzard. The snowflakes were resting after their twisting, twirling dance through the crisp night air. Every twig in the forest wore a new coat of glimmering white. Daybreak came softly, moving through the woods and yawning as its rays slowly stretched across the snowy meadows. to notice. Stranger in the woods! Stranger in the woods! Take care! Take care! The blue jays called a warning from high in the tops of the tall oaks. Stranger in the woods! Do you hear the jays calling? Mother Doe spoke softly to her fawn. Yes. I always listen to the birds, the wind blowing through the trees, the rustling of the leaves, and all the sounds of the woods. Stranger in the woods! Stranger in the woods! Who? Who's in the woods? Where? Where did the jays say? Where is he? Asked the owl of many questions. Coo, coo, could that be him? Asked the morning dove. There, beyond the old apple tree. Follow the snow trail past the pond to where the meadow begins. Not far, not far at all. Who, oh, who's in the woods? Why is he here? When, when did the stranger come? 
asked the owl of many questions. I've been here since early morning. Befell the first pale light on the eastern sky. Said the munching muskrat. No stranger came this way. No one passed by my pond. I followed the snow trail under the light of the winter moon. He was not there during the night, that I am sure. As the animals moved through the snowy forest, they came to the edge of the meadow. The frightened doe stomped her hoof and snorted. Where is he? Where is he? Can you see him? Yes, yes, I do see him, chattered the squirrel. Someone needs to go and, and check, 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 check him out. Who, who, who will go? Who, who, who will go see? Now, don't be looking at me. I'm much too busy chew, chew, chewing on my antler. Spattered the porcupine. You will not be volunteering me, no sorry. Said the scared rabbit. Is... Is he watching me? How did dee dee? It is me, the chicken dee dee dee. I will go. I will take the lead. I'm a mum the smallest, and I think I can scamper quickly. I'll do it. I'll make a tunnel no, where only I can go, creeping in closer to get a look, quietly, just like a mum mouse. Let it be me. Let me go. Volunteered the fawn. I can do it. I know I can. I am the strongest and the biggest, said the young buck. I should go first. I can fly faster. But I can run like lightning, and I have antlers. But I am... I am... red, announced the cardinal, not knowing what else to say. What are you waiting for? I'm there already, Dee Dee! Exclaimed the chickadee Dee Dee. Gee, gee, gee! There's nothing seeds on his hat for you and me! This stranger is friendly! Come see, come see! There's plenty! I can see there's something for you. Could it be there's something for me? My nose is leading me to corn buried beneath the snow. I found a treat that I can eat, said the young doe, as she reached out to the stranger. Wow, a carrot. Do I have to share it? What is this? Questioned the fawn as he passed a curious object in the snow. Could it be there's more than one stranger in the woods? After the corn was gone, the animals left by the snow trail one by one and disappeared into the winter woods. It was the chickadee who took the last seed and flew away. The snowman stood alone, but only for a short time. Janine, what are you doing? We were almost to the end of the story. But this reminds me of a song. Oh, not again. Just close your eyes and dream And remember the snowman in your heart The voice deep inside you and me 
who says that you can be anything you wish to be. That was boring. You should try something more upbeat, like this. Mr. Winters here. He's breathing down my shoulder. Mr. Winters here. So I know it's getting colder. Mr. Winters here. He's blowing this snowflake along. That was good, huh? Now you try. Mr. Snowflake's here. Good. She's spreading out her blanket, saying, You, my dear. I think you, you have know it. it's time to make it. Make a snowman here. And sing, oh, Mr. Snowman, a song. Let's try it together now, eh? Mr. Snowman is here. His orange hair and nose is bringing with So grab your winter clothes before he disappears. Mr. Winter won't be staying too long. One more time. Mr. Winter is here. So I know it's getting colder. Mr. Winters here. No one misses snowflake along. Hey! Hey! Will you quiet it down? You know, some of us actually hibernate in the wintertime. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Thank you. I'm going back to sleep. May we please get back to the story now? Go ahead, my little Oakley friend. Well... The snowman stood alone, but only for a short time. They have eaten everything, even the carrot nose, whispered the little sister, peeking out from behind the evergreens. Let's put out more seeds and corn before they come back. The animals will never know we were here. How long will we feed them? For a long, long time. After the snow has gone and the snowman has melted away until the frogs start to sing and the trees grow new leaves. I think they like carrots the best.
Not a bad story, eh, Janine? Shh. You're gonna miss the end. Oh, sorry. Who's the stranger? 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 In the woods. Who's the stranger? 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 In the woods. Who's the stranger? 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 In the woods. Who? Who? Who's the stranger? 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 In the woods. Hey, who is that stranger? Who's the stranger? Who's the stranger? Who's the stranger? Who's the stranger? In the woods. Uh, who is the stranger? Who is this stranger? Who is this stranger? Who is this stranger? Who is this stranger? In the woods. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I kid. I'm a kidder. <laughs>